But now, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> We have waited. So the early bird is going to get the worm here with over a thousand of these already spoken for. It was six years in the making. Forget cooking like your restaurant. In my own opinion, you're going to cook better than your restaurant. Hotter, fresher, faster frying at not only the same technology that your restaurant is using, you have your built-in sous chef. You cannot screw this up. Do you know this is actually the first one in history that actually cleans and scrubs your oil and then puts it away for you. If you're ready I know I am you're gonna want Friday night every night of the week the only time of the year and your one shot on our finest value of the day okay so here it is guys and gals whoa look at that that's everybody's favorite including my son mm -hmm. Oliver he always asks me papa when we're gonna make the fried mozzarella <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I had to wait for you, so we take it out. And oh, you know, it's what? boiling hot, so if you do it at home, wait, don't. Just be careful. Let it cool down a little Holy bit. Holy smoke. Now look at that. Oh, bravo. Wow. Bravo, bravo, that. bravo. So you serve that with a little salad, with a little tomato sauce, whatever you have. But what is amazing is it's not greasy. It is seared in the outside so it doesn't get greasy. Now look at that. Oh, look at that. Mm. So if you want, you can season the cheese with a little cayenne pepper, with chopped jalapenos, whatever, and you have a perfect thing to go at the football game when you, you watch uh, the game or whatever. This is like a great thing. Okay, so Wolfgang had and me... And each I, one exactly the look same. Look at that. See perfect that? results every time. Yeah. He, he had yet football season, right? But yeah. this is so much more than wings and poppers and french fries and mozzarella Woo. sticks. I mean, you'll be okay. doing fried spinach you in one over there, I have one over here. Look at that. Look at you go. Wow. Oh my gosh, you could jump rope with that thing I know. for crying You're out You're right. Loud. You get our own exercise. Isn't that crazy? I, oh, I have a necklace. Look at that. <laughs> so that's just it. If Wolfgang is going to do something, and this was six years in development, he's going to do it better and smarter than anybody else. Not only do you get this great digital control, and just one quick word to that. Uh, and actually, Michael, I'll go over here real quickly. Yeah. It is so smart. You press and hold. So I'll do this. So you press and hold, and you wait until it talks to you okay so I'll do the same thing and press and hold it came back on exactly. so but the thing is that it won't start counting down the time until it's at the right yeah. temperature so it's gonna fry exactly like your restaurant frankly I think you fry better than your restaurant because look what Wolfgang did you get the bigger elements so part of what made the secret to this is you get more wattage it's a it's a 1700 watt machine exactly why 1700 right. because that way it doesn't get cold you know if right. the French if the fryer doesn't have enough wattage you put cold food in it, food in it like a uh, uh, french fries or beans or whatever it is the temperature drops and right. it soaks up the oil but when the temperature is high and stays high the oil stays outside and it steams up the inside so you're always going to get juicy food you are so you actually give a bigger heating element exactly. which is also key yeah. it's the higher wattage which is going to give you the you know perfect and precise results it comes up a little bit higher there's a small enough of a lip at the bottom so you never get kind of that burnt taste that you can get in restaurants, you know, when the crumbs start falling down. And speaking of that, now, of course, you get your cook and look lid with the filter built in, so your kitchen is not going to smell like a fry kitchen. Yeah. But here's the real magic. If you can see this screen, positive. this is a an oil filtration cleaning system an oil filtration cleaning system. So basically, there's one button to hit, and this is how smart this machine is. I still am flabbergasted. You hit the one button, the, the fryer knows when the oil is cool enough to drain, it automatically drains it, and then look at what it puts it in. This is the craziest thing. It actually puts it in its own storage reservoir, yeah. So when you wake up in the morning, this is ready for you. It's clean out. It's clean. The up. oil is clean, so yep. you can put it away if you yep. want to, or put just it in the refrigerator, it yep. or keep it in the counter. Because the thing is, Wolfgang, I think most we, Americans we love fried yeah. food, but we don't like wasting oil because exactly. it's expensive. Yeah. Number you one. don't want you, you don't want to waste the oil. You nope. want to clean the oil, and this cleans it for you, so you don't have to worry 
to take out or move around with the oil. Yeah. This does everything. Now, let oh, me show you how French fries. my kids love the French fries. So and we have so crinkly now, French fries. So the kids want to do French fries every night now? Uh, they they want doing? it all the time. Yeah, I have to say, not every day. We have a little change. And then what I do, I grate a little Parmesan oh, cheese on Oh, that's a good idea, top. Wolf. I'm going to do yeah. that. But see, now, sometimes if I have nothing, I just grate a little mozzarella and bake them in the oven and ooh, you have like nachos after, so nice. it's perfect. Yeah. But see, that's just it. It locks most of the oil out. So exactly. it does not taste heavy or greasy. You don't get that, you know, heavy taste. Uh, to me, it's, it's uh, like look, dry frying. If you frying. bring the french fries just like that to the table, yes. already people are going to say, wow, this looks so good. But you know, Wolfgang, you were telling me, I'm going to get more uh, oil uh, if I fry in a stove top, in a pan, no. than you will if you fry in this. Yeah. So realize if you make fried chicken uh -huh. in, a, in a, a pan on your stove top, uh -huh. you're going to have more oil in that fried chicken than you will if you make fried chicken in this. Uh, totally, totally. And you're going to have more oil in that fried fish if you do it on a, on a, a pan oh, than you're going to have in this. Even if you're just sautéed, you mm. will get more oil in there. Okay, I gotta try one of these little yeah. boys. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? Not only are they crunchy, they're okay. not greasy. No. Mmm. Those are good. Now look at that in here, the onion ring. See that? Look in here. Mm. You're gonna say, oh my god, I don't know how they're gonna get uh, crispy. So, oil, 375. It's easy to put it up here. See that? Maybe Marianne, you should go on the other side and show them. Okay. Brilliant. How easy Wolfgang, it is to work. Did you see how it came to temperature right away? Yeah. You know how sometimes if you drop something in, in hot oil on, on a pan on your stovetop, first of all, you don't know what the temperature really is. Exactly. And then secondly, the temperature drops, so that's when things get greasy. Yep. This stays at proper temperature. Now look at here, chicken wings. Mm. You know, Football if you season. go to a bar, whatever, you get them. They fry them in I don't know what, because yes, it never do. tastes like if you do them at home. Get no. your sauce. All right, and toss them. Oh, wow. Yum, yum, yum. And here oh. you have it. Put a sprinkle oh, a little cheese so on top. Okay, you know what? You go to a sports bar, yeah. that's more than a flex pay. I know. So a you, lot more. I know. So that, you put that on the table and it's a and perfect... You're done. You're done. Way to start your day at the game or no game. So remember, we do want to say hi to you. So hold at the end of the call. We'd love to meet and greet you. And ask about Marion's cookbook. It's hardbound. It's so much fun. You're seeing that item number rotate at the bottom of your screen. I promise she'll get your creative juices flowing. But you really must try this. I know I told this story last okay, hour. But when years ago, when Wolfgang was doing his, his fryers, and he waited. He took him six years to develop this. My mom has one of the original ones. And the men in my family, the boys, love fry night. They look forward to fried fish. They yeah. look forward to fried green beans. They look forward to the tater tots and the nuggets and the poppers and the nuts. Exactly. You know, and you know what it's things. great for is to do leftover. Yes. If you are a cook at home and you have rice, for example, you make risotto. Oh, yeah. The leftover, just spread it and yeah. fry the next time and you have, like in Italy, arancines. Yeah. If you have leftover macaroni and cheese. Yes. You form little baddies like that when it's cold. Yeah. Spread them and you have but beautiful... You, you can do fried ravioli. Yeah. You can do fried tortellini. We had fried tortellini out here last hour and it was amazing. So you can do macaroni and cheese balls. You can do nuggets, yeah. of course. Now look, look at that. See that? Oh, yes. Oh macaroni and with the cheese in oh the middle. Oh, Lord. See that? <laughs> I had hard out of the oven. I know. What's what's better than you macaroni and cheese? You serve that with a little fried, salad and right? you're done. But you know, you think of all, you know, the state fairs when they, you can, you can, you know, fry candy bars, you can yeah. fry desserts. There's no end to what you can fry. But what's so wonderful for me is you don't get that heavy fried food yeah. taste. You don't get that kind of little repeating in your stomach. And you know, everybody now loves yes. fried sweet potatoes. Oh, for sure. You, you, you can, can actually yeah. hear how crispy they yeah. are. Totally crispy, and you don't see the oil on it. I know, and there's nothing worse because because of the sh the sweetness to get like a greasy. Yeah, sweet you don't want to greasy. You can see it's totally dry. I mean, can you see that? I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't even see any oil on that. And crunchy. I don't. I mean, does that look greasy to you? I mean, seriously. And the other thing about flash frying is. It keeps it nice and crunchy on the outside, but then it's nice and fluffy on the yeah, inside. Yeah, exactly. Which is Moist the key. and delicious, yeah. I know. So you cannot, listen, I, I realize you may think that you've tried frying before. You've not really tried frying until you've tried this. 
more wattage, more power, perfect yeah. temperature, even heating. Kathy, who called us from Washington last hour, she said, oh, I'm not such a good cook, but she got this because you yeah. can't mess it up. Exactly. You cannot mess this up. Look at that, the onion rings. Mm. And you know what? I promise you're going to start looking for things to fry. I know. You and really you know will. what? Because everybody loves mm. fried food. In every country, if it's in Austria, we make Wiener Schnitzel fried chicken. You're right. In Japan, in Japan, they make uh, tempura and so forth. So everybody right. loves it. You know, everything from fish and chips to yeah. Wiener Schnitzel to tempura and everything in between. Yeah. And that's the wonderful thing about this is you will get professional results every time. And I know I keep saying this, but... You cannot compare this to other fryers. Six years in development, more wattage, bigger and longer element, the perfect elevation above where the crumbs start to fall. So you never get kind of that heavy or that sooty or that, you know, heavy uh, fried flavor, but you get the fluffiness, you get the crispness, you get the moistness on the interior, and you never get dirty oil. Yeah. Ever, 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 because of that unique automatic drainage system yeah. that was over six years in development. I have to say, Wolfgang, that is a big achievement. Exactly. Really you know why it's a big achievement? Because you don't have to do anything, just push a button. Yes. So I can't believe that. Yeah. That it, it actually knows when the oil is cool enough. Yeah. And it automatically drains. What are you making in there? Yeah, chicken fingers. Oh. You know how the chicken finger normally, they're <laughs> yes. full of batter, they're dried out. Here, all of a sudden, grown-ups gonna love chicken yeah. fingers. Yeah, I tell you what. Huh? Tell us how you well, you know, in Austria, and you can see Marion's husband right over here, Greg, he is flour, egg, and breadcrumbs. Okay. So that's what you put, the chicken season, salt and pepper, flour, eggs, egg uh, okay. breadcrumbs, egg plant, <laughs> And uh, that's it. And, and that is it. And but, look at that. See, and, that's almost done. And, and that, so it literally takes a few minutes. Yeah. So I have to say, you know, Do whether you've got busy somewhere? families or you just miss fried food, don't you miss fried food? I was so excited to hear that yeah. Wolfgang was doing this because I've missed it. I mean, haven't you? I haven't been ordering fried food in restaurants because there always seems to be, it's like if it's a French fry, I can taste the fish or whatever, you know, the poppers or whatever yeah. was made in that fryer. This, you never fry in dirty oil. Plus, you're saving money because remember, not only do you never get that aftertaste because it's going to clean the oil for you, you're saving so much money. Peanut oil is so expensive right now or whatever type of oil you like to, to yeah. uh, fry in, but you never get, um, you never are leaving that oil on your counter. You can put it in the refrigerator. You can choose what to do with it. Oh, what are you making in this? I'm making some beer buttered fish. You know, oh, in England yum. or even in America on the East Coast, yeah. fish and chips is one of the most most popular thing. For sure, I love fish People and chips. love it. We serve it at lunch sometimes with a yeah. little salad pea or the little tartar sauce. People think it's the best thing know. ever. You know, it's a crazy thing. But it has to be fried properly. Uh, Without that, yeah. it can be the worst also. You could open up your own food truck with this. Yeah. I mean, you could. You could open up your own little fr fr restaurant with yeah. this. I mean, with over 1,200 gone, I hope you Two try it. You just smaller. wait. You're going to count the days until you get this at home, and then you're going to find yourself using it almost every night, even if it's just for the side dishes, because you're never frying in dirty oil. I've missed fried food. I know you have too. Wolfgang waited to do it until he can make it the better mousetrap, and you just wait. I'm just going to say once more, yeah. you're going to fry better than your restaurant. Totally. You really are, for sure, because you actually base this on what you do in your restaurant. Exactly. You know, if we don't Every restaurant in the world, I think, has a fryer, you know. Yes, so of course. So we started in uh, at Chinua, we started at Spago, we have it everywhere. So if it's for yeah. tempura, if it's for French fries, how often at the Bel Air Hotel people come up and say, for the, ch for the children, they want chicken fingers. And then we make them just like that. Oh, man. And people say, oh, my God, we never had chicken fingers like that. Then the adults no. start to eat it, too. You know what's so interesting? Well, you can hear the crunch yeah, even on the totally. chicken. totally. And you can see, yeah. look at that. If you come close to it, you see there is no oil no. on here. It I mean, is they totally just, dry. They snap. Yeah. I mean, but they're not heavy and greasy. So I'd love for you to see that animation again, because remember, this is really the triple threat. 
it's the wattage it that you the, want, the and it's, it is it is flash frying. That is what your restaurant is yep. doing. But it's a bigger element as well. So that almost edge-to-edge -edge covering uh, of that heating element on the interior, that is part of the secret to the whole system. Um, have but yet you have control? enough elevation where all those little crumbs and fond and things that fall down, you never get that kind of aftertaste. You never get kind of that burntness. So it's always perfect every time. But then the real secret, uh, we'll show you in the animation, is this wonderful drain system. So it actually will filter out and clean the oil for you automatically. And Michael, can they see the screen? It's a little hard for me to see my monitors. Yes. So, okay, good. Right. Thank you. So there's that Do screen. So updates? it's that drainage system where it's actually yeah, yeah. cleaning that oil. So you never get kind of that burnt taste, that kind of aftertaste. So remember, it is automatic. You, you hit one little button. I love that the machine is smart enough to know when the oil is cool enough to drain. And then it automatically goes into this storage reservoir. And then you can reuse it and it's like getting fresh clean oil because it is you know fresh and clean because it was already scrubbed and already you know all of those little silt and things that we get when we fry have already been taken out it is genius and if you have given up fried food because you didn't like the taste you didn't like you know the hassle you didn't like the mess you didn't like the expense he has hit this out of the park yeah I mean, you really have, because you solved all of our problems, Wolfgang. Exactly, because I don't want you to work too hard at home. Right. I want you to be able to cook like mm. I do, like a professional. Tell you what, that fish looks good. Yeah. I have to have and look at that. Here we have one okay. of our favorites. I remember when I used to go to oh, a restaurant Wolfgang. with my father. If he saw any white on the plate, he wasn't happy. He said, <laughs> what happened with the Wiener Schnitzel? So that's they already knew when they saw him coming, they made him a double one, I think. Oh, so. that's hilarious. And then so you just finish all you have to lemon. do then is use a lemon. Okay. You squeeze a little lemon on top. Oh, and that's it. That's how we to, eat it. I'm going to have you, to That's try how you that. get in Vienna. Potato salad, tomato salad, cucumber salad. Okay, how pretty is that? I mean, so I, I'm coming to Oktoberfest at your house. Okay. I mean, really, you're doing Oktoberfest. Yeah, we're doing it all the time. Yeah, I mean, but that's just it. You can do everything from gourmet to, you know, yep. your Wiener schnitzel to I love fish and chips. Oh my gosh, yeah. it is so flaky. With a little tartar sauce. Do we have a little oh, tartar sauce? Oh my gosh. See, that's just it. These are the foods that we crave. These are the foods that we love. And you yeah. know what? You don't have to obsess about it because it's almost like a dry fry. If you look at that Wiener Schnitzel, I, I've ordered that out in restaurants where you can actually see the oil that it's been cooked in. This looks like a dry fry. You can see how nice and clean. There's no sheen. It's nice and dry. Yeah. Beautifully crispy. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, there we go, Tim. Uh, so you can see that it's just nice and crunchy. Totally. I put crust. lemon juice on and you can see the lemon juice right, on little it. Lemon juice, yeah. but that's it. And then I, I've got to try that fried fish. I'm okay, now you. look okay. at that. So if you want, no, give me that bottle. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, so, so that could be it. So that's just a little tartar sauce? Yeah, put that. a little tartar sauce on it. Okay. Mmm. And then you know you can break it. Look, look at it, how moist the fish is. See that? Okay. Totally moist and juicy inside. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to try that. See bite. that? Okay. Okay. Put, over here. put a little sauce on it. Okay. Just okay. look at how flaky this is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. No, it's it's so amazing. Ooh. Look, look the moisture that's inside. Good. See, See that, that? I guess is my whole point. Yep. Not all fryers are created alike, so not all fryers are going to do that. You want that nice little crispy crust, but then you want it to be moist and flaky on the interior. And that's really the secret to flash frying. And if you haven't priced, you know, flash fryers, yeah. they are not inexpensive. I mean, normally you're looking at $200 at an above for this kind of technology. And none of them have that unique oil filtration and drainage yeah. system. None at any price. That's something that Wolfgang Puck did exclusively. So you save so much money. You save so much yeah. frustration. Oh, this food but is so good. But mostly it's the taste, you know. For sure. It's all about the taste for me. Forget about the rest. You can talk a lot. Mm. But you know what? Mike kids at home, I know when we have takeout from one of our restaurants, mm. they don't want their french fries anymore. They don't want the calamari fritti anymore. They don't want their shrimp tempura. They want me to cook it at home because it's so much better, so much fresher. What is better than right out of the fryer on your plate, still hot and crispy, and the inside is moist and steamy. I'll tell you what, that Wiener schnitzel is great. Yeah. Mm.
And the taste is tripe. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have to show them this though. See what I mean? See how flaky, oh, sorry about that, Michael. Do you see how, the, how it's even fluffy? It's fluffy. I mean, that's how you want your tempura yeah. to, 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 to look. All right, I know Ruth is calling us in Michigan. Okay. Ruth, welcome to the show. You're live with Wolf, Wolfgang Puck. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth, how, how are you? I'm mm. oh, good, thank you. So. What, the, what the, can I tell you, Ruth? How are you? Well, well, I'm good. Um, yeah, I, I picked up the flyer tonight. Um, I had your previous flyer. No, it didn't have the on it and all, but I really like that this has that compartment now. Yeah. You know, I know, like Ruth. Didn't he, isn't it great? He uh, made it better. Now we don't yeah. have to worry about that oil sitting on our counter anymore, right? Yep. Right, right. And what is that um, chicken? a few months back, I tried one of the air fryers, and it wasn't the same. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I'm back to regular old flash frying. I know. You know, sometimes, you know, Grandma knew Give best. Me salad over here. And, you know, Ruth, the really interesting thing about this is, because I, I actually gave up fried food for years, You'll find, and I know you find this with your other Wolfgang Puck fryer, it doesn't, t even though we're frying in oil, it doesn't taste like that heavy oil taste like maybe fryers of the past, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, I gave my Wolfgang Puck fryer to my daughter, oh. and my husband was upset because it's like, well, what are we going to fry in now? And then I'm flipping the channels, and I'm like, yay. <laughs> I know. Well, Ruth, it was meant to be. Thank you, Ruth. Yeah. Happy you know, frying it's... to you and your hubby out there in Michigan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do. All thank right, you, yeah, I think you're, you're gonna yeah, open a restaurant. Yeah. Everybody gonna come over and just mm -hmm. to try the onion rings. Mm. Now, cut the onions good. a little finer. They're a little too coarse. Mm. It's look better. I, mean, I like them finer. But no, okay. Some people make them really big, whatever. Now look at that. I know. Here I have vegetables. So if it's beans, asparagus, oh, yeah. oh, carrots. Oh, green beans. Yeah. But you know what's so interesting? As Wolfgang does that. Now remember, if you were going to pan fry on your stove top, you would be getting more oil than you're getting in your flash fryer. T oh, totally, totally. For sure. Because remember, when you put something in uh, oil in a pan, first of all, you don't know how hot it is, so you yeah. never really know what temperature you're frying at. But then secondly, when you put it in that, that pan on your stovetop, the temperature drops, and that's when things get exactly. greasy. Exactly. And you know what? You have to be precise with that you temperature. Do. It's just like baking. You don't want to mm. bake something at 500 and it should be baked at 350. So the same thing is with that. And here, look at that. I know. And I just, we'll, we'll show off this beautiful A buffet. perfect Wiener schnitzel here. Perfect Wiener schnitzel. So Wiener schnitzel can be made Normally, maybe the expensive places make it with veal, like Spargo and the Bel Air Hotel, right. but you also can make it with chicken, like what I have here. Mm. Serve it with a little salad, just put a little vinegar on top, and again, a little lemon. So, mm. so simple, so easy. The main thing is, it's crispy outside it and is. not greasy. And you know, in Austria, we say, word. You are supposed to be able to sit on your Wiener Schnitzel, and there should be on your pants no grease. Then it's fried properly. I did not know that. Yep. But you know what's so interesting about that? When I've ordered Wiener Schnitzel out at a restaurant, that has not been the case. I mean, you can actually see the oil that it's been cooking in. And if you just take a look, I mean, not only a feast for the eyes, what you don't see on this beautiful display is a bunch of oil. I mean, yeah. you don't. I mean, you'll notice even the chicken does not look greasy. I know I was holding these up earlier, but if this is not a work of art, do you see how the shrimp, how it's just like so puffy and flaky and beautifully brown? I mean, that is gorgeous. I mean, it's a thing to behold. Your, your uh, fried fish, your mozzarella sticks. I mean, even if you're doing cherry pies or beignets or donuts or chicken wings or, you know, sweet potato fries, your crispy crinkle fries. I mean, everything, even macaroni and cheese balls. Oh my gosh, this food is just like over the top. And you know, no. the thing is, Wolfgang, though, yeah. it's the better way to fry. It just Well, is. you know what? If you mm. fry, this is the only way to fry. Look at that. Here with tempura vegetables. So mm. beans and uh, things, and kids will love it. Everybody loves it. They say, how did you cook them? Well, it didn't come in contact with water, so all the nutrients stay inside. You can cook it perfectly crispy. You can have it with a dipping sauce, and it's just perfect. Mm. I'm telling you what, I'm loving that Wiener Schnitzel. You have to try this. You yeah. just do. It is so good. I know you've missed fried food. You've never tried a fryer like this. I mean, you haven't. 10 minutes, I will tell you that blue is yeah. the most popular. 
Okay. I'll try one of these green beans, Wolf. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is so fun. No, this is just that same wash. Yeah. So flour. The tempura powder. Okay. All right. Mmm. Ooh, nice and hot and crispy. Yeah. That's the beautiful thing about this. I know we've been talking about this throughout the show, but you can't mess this up. You can't. That's the Here's real genius onion. behind what Wolfgang Puck does. Onion. And I'll just take you on a tour of the features again here real quickly because we're kind of switching out. And I know you see that clock on your screen. 10 minutes, your co your color is here. There are almost yeah. 1,400 of these gone. You doing some more french fries? Yeah, I know. Mm. Everybody loves french fries. Everybody fry. loves the french fries. Yep. Actually, our crews look forward. Our crews have missed the fryers. Let I me tell know, you. I know. Everybody, you know what? I didn't have it in my house. I know. Now I have to fry every day. The kids said, oh, we want french fries. We want french fries. It's true. I mean, I didn't even make donuts yet for them because then we're just going to yes. use the fryer. <laughs> so yours is here. Now remember, you choose the blue, the black, or the red. He th he's hit it out of the park. I mean, leave it to Wolfgang Puck to make the best fryer. And I know you've missed fried food. I know you've wanted fried food. Your kids, I mean, we go to the Golden Arches. Let's be honest, you order fried uh -huh. food when you go to a restaurant, but my own opinion, and I really believe this to be true, you'll make fried food better than your restaurant. This is the same technology that Wolfgang uses at Spago, only I think better because you're in control. It's in your home. We all know french fries are at their ultimate best when they're right out of that fryer. So you're in complete control. So you get the cook and look lid. It actually keeps a lot of the, the odor and uh, the, uh, a lot of the uh, things from smelling up the kitchen. So your, your kitchen does not smell like a, a short order cook home. Then, of course, you get this extended element. And not only more wattage, but you want that bigger element, right? Exactly. So that way, the temperature will stay constant. Yes. You don't want the fryer where the temperature drops. Nope. And then it soaks up the oil. You want the oil to sear the outside of your meat, your right. fish, your veggies, whatever you do, whatever you fry. So that way, it's nice and crispy and not oily. And you right. can see our veggies here, this here. Because, uh, you know, there's a science to frying. I mean, no, there really no. is. You know what? In Japan, or even in Austria, you have restaurants who just do fried things. Right. In Japan, obviously, you have tempura restaurants. In Austria, right. we have restaurants who just do Wiener Schnitzel, and they have a line out the door. They do. So, you know... I went to a restaurant in... Uh, Charlotte, and yeah. our restaurant in Charlotte, the Wolfgang Park uh, Bar and Kitchen, what do we sell the most? The Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Next one is a restaurant, what do they sell the most? Southern fried chicken. Right, exactly. So whether it's chicken fried steak, yeah. you know, or fried chicken, or fried fish, or your poppers, or your sticks, remember you're never cooking in dirty oil. And that's the big thing. It's, it's interesting because when we used to sell fries on the air, I had to be very careful because I am sensitive to fried right. food. This... No worries, at least for me, because they're frying in clean oil. You're in control of the oil because it's flash frying. It's not greasy and heavy. It's almost like a dry fry. And at the end of the day, it's going to save you money and hassles. There is an automatic drainage system. It's, it's actually a button that you hit. And when the, 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 the fryer is smart enough to know when the oil is cool enough to drain it. I think that's genius. That still cracks me up. It's smarter than me, that's for sure. But then it it will drain the oil into this reservoir. Yeah. And so when you get up, Wolfgang, you were telling me your oil is ready to use again or to exactly. put in the refrigerator Exactly. All you have store. to do is open up this little thing here. Right. Um, you pour it back in here. And you're done. And then yeah. again, you put that in there and that's it. And you're done. Yeah. It is so smart. And you know, if you have it at home, there's a little lever in here. You can see that yes. dark thing. You pull that toward you and you take right. it out. And one, one quick word to the wise, uh, I won't do it on this fryer because we've got, well, actually, we've all yeah. got them all going. But when you hit the power button, just press and hold it. Yeah. Wait until it talks to you. You know, when it beeps, you know, kind of like your phone, you know it's 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 good to go, It's that it's starting to heat up. And by the way, that timer will not start clicking away until, until, until it is at the proper temperature, which I also think is pretty cool. So uh, we have about five minutes left in this presentation. I can't recommend strongly enough. You really should try it. Ooh, are those the, the little um, mats, or uh -huh. mushrooms? Those are so good. Now they're Very really hot. hot. I mean, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna wait for them to cool okay, off a little bit before I dig it. Yeah. And then what did you put on top of those? A little powder sauce. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
But you can see Wolfgang is just, he's cooked for an army. That's yeah. the other thing that's so fun. It's fast, it's it's so finger easy. and family friendly. Yeah. Everybody loves fried food. And exactly. that's why, I mean, you're gonna have fry parties. You're gonna have fry nights. I mean, their neighborhoods will want to come to your, I mean, the whole neighborhood is going to want to come to your house. Totally, totally, I totally. I mean, because there's something about fried food that we just love. Yes, it's certainly appropriate. Fried green that tomatoes, season, yeah. It, uh, fried <laughs> green to tomatoes. Yeah. I mean, you can do all of your southern classics, but like, I know. but like you regular said. Regular fried chicken. Regular Look at fried that chicken. Here. So I'm going to have less oil than that if I did it on a pan oh, on myself. In, in the pan, first of all, in the pan, it will burn the pan on the bottom. Right. Then it will be really, really, the oil oil will be burned, so you have right. to throw it away. If you fry it in here, you know you have the right temperature and you yes. will never have that problem. No. So it always will oh, fry it just so like good. that. You can see it's totally dry oh, with no oily yeah. thing at all. I mean, that's what's so cool. I, you know, like Wolfgang said, every culture in the world, you know, has some kind yeah. of, you know, regional And you see, classic. this is what is the problem in restaurants with their oh. oil, in the cheap restaurants. See this thing in here in the basket? Right. So this goes to the bottom of your fryer. When it burns, because it's so long in there for 375, what will happen? It makes the oil taste terrible. It so does. that's why this is so good. You can, each time you use it, you actually can take it yeah. and filter it and you always have clean oil. Well, and see, that's why I say you never fry in dirty oil, Yeah. ever. And also because of the elevation of that, that element, I'll show you one more time. It's right. not only a bigger element, but it's also the perfect separation between, you know, those little crumbs that collect on the bottom. So you don't get that heavy, you don't get that burnt, you don't get kind of that little aftertaste, if you will. And then you're getting it all for a little over $25 on your credit card. We, this is our finest hour. I have to say we're so proud of you. I, yeah. I, it, tonight's the night that we're going to get you back and frying. And then never, ever, ever Never you will get oil. French fries like that. If you yeah. do it in a pot, in a pan, it's all true. you need is put maybe a little fresh herbs on top mm. and look at that. I know. Oh, my god. And gosh. you think you're going to go to a fine restaurant. Oh, wow. Chicken, the same thing. Here I have Chinese chicken wings. Mm. You put a little teriyaki sauce on it or make your own Chinese sauce with a little sesame oil. And look at it. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. A little cilantro. And voila, done. Oh, those look good. Yeah, a little fried tomatoes, fried green tomatoes mm. in cornmeal. So you don't have to just to fry like we do in Austria with breadcrumbs. You fry in cornmeal like wow. the fried green tomatoes. Mm-mm, I'm telling you, I'm having a hard time deciding. I'm just eating it all. Well, my onions, I have to do some onions and then... Uh, I'm telling you, look at how much food you've done. Yeah. I mean, isn't that crazy? It just boggles the mind. And I know I keep saying this, but you can't mess it up. You can't mess it up. Yeah, now look how easy. Mm. These are onions here. Can you, can you see them? There is no magic to anything. We cook everything to order. Mm. Those mushrooms Just are good. be sure not to put too much of the flour in here and, and you are done. Wow. But do you see how it stays at the proper temperature? Yeah. When Wolfgang was putting that in, I mean, right away you were getting that bubbling. Yep. You didn't see. And it stays like that stays until like the that. end. So now here, one of mm. the more amazing things is sweet potato fries. Nobody ate sweet potato fries. Now every restaurant tries to serve them. Most of the time you get them limp when you get yes. them. You get them just like this one's here. Exactly. And then you say, what is the big deal about them? I know. Well, there's one thing when they are nice and crispy outside yeah, and creamy kidding. inside. No, and it, Wolfgang makes an excellent point. That's actually one of the reasons I quit ordering sweet potato fries at yeah. restaurants is they okay, were... Yeah greasy and that never happens with this remember you're frying with the same technology as restaurants but you're in complete control you never fry in dirty oil it tells you and it keeps it at the precise temperature so that oil temperature is never dropping allowing that grease to kind of soak in it, to me it's a dry fry and it's funny because i i have never that's yeah. the best look, look, I've you ever look tried. how it's frying in here See yes that? The temperature is completely, so if you want to use fries which you buy in the freeze or just sure. defrost them before and then right. you throw them in here. I know, and see that's what's so cool. I mean, even things like 
from your frozen food section, yeah. your, your potato skins, your poppers. Your spring rolls, your whatever spring you do. Rolls. Exactly. You could do your yeah. own potato chips, your yeah. own nacho chips, empanadas in this. I mean, why not? I mean, And look at that here, one of my all time favorites. Who doesn't like crispy onions? Look, look at that here. Oh man, oh Wolfgang. Those are so oh, those are so pretty. Okay, I gotta try one of these little guys. Look at that. So that's, mm. if you would have some onions which are n limp, they would not be like mm. that. Form a whole mountain here. Can yeah. you see that? Okay, oh, Look wow. at it, they are as light as anything could be. Wow, okay. It's a feast going on. So if you were trying to get through on Marion's cookbook, hundreds yeah. of you out there already have. Check with your service representative for details. It's hard bound. It makes a beautiful coffee table book. It's just a fun book. It gets you so inspired. And then we are scooting along. We also have the tongs. Okay. The sweet are... potato fries are still coming. Oh, I know. Look at that. Here are our fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. So mm. they stay perfectly intact. So nice. much easier than putting them in a saute pan and frying yes, them. Where they will soak up all the heat. All right. Well, when and we... And look at that. And here we have our things are almost done. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, guys. We are coming back. More mozzarella sticks. But the pressure cooker is coming up next. Stay tuned. HSN celebrates inventors, entrepreneurs, and dreamers like you. Have you created a product you love, ready to share it with the world? For this Hispanic Heritage Month, we've partnered with Lily Gil Valletta, an award-winning entrepreneur and CEO of Excel Alliance, to fast-track Latino businesses from startup to stardom. Project American Dream selects up to five inventors to mentor and launch their products live on HSN. Join the contest and visit hsn.com and search American Dreams. Was the night before host pick, and all through the home, our hosts were all stirring, but they weren't alone. To make holidays more special than ever this year, they invited their families to share the good cheer. The hosts have all made their picks with care. From gatherings to gifts, they'll help you prepare. It's a three-day event, and to make spirits bright, get four flex pay on all, and to all a good night. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. a little piece of plastic could be so much fun. Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. HSN Cares is dedicated to empowering women and helping families in need. Our partnership with the U.S. Fund for UNICEF helps build a better future for children. When you purchase an item from our HSN Cares U.S. Fund for UNICEF collection, we will donate $5 to the U.S. Fund for UNICEF. With $5, UNICEF can feed a child for more than three days. Search HSN Cares at hsn.com to shop the collection or make a donation. It's HSN's Columbus Day Sale. Enjoy four days of flex pay and special pricing on some of your favorite brands like Diane Gilman, Taya Beauty, and Wolfgang Puck. Don't miss other exclusive offers like free shipping on all NFL, free shipping and four flex pay on select fall fashion staples, and up to 20% off five flex pay and free shipping on select mattresses. HSN's Columbus Day Sale, now through Monday, only on HSN. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person.
And now I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect pie. Here we have the cutter for the dough. Now all we have to do is push the dough against your pie maker here. I cooked my peaches already with a little bit of sugar, a little cinnamon, whatever you like. I found at the farmer's market some beautiful blackberries and raspberries. Use a little powdered sugar. Now we are ready to bake. You could serve it with a little ice cream, whipped cream, whatever you want. No one educates us or has more fun in the kitchen than Wolfgang Puck. Exactly. Why we have so much fun? Because we have the right appliances. If it's the fryer, the pressure cooker, the pots and pans, whatever it is, you have to start with good ingredients, and then you have to have the right appliance. It will make you a better cook, no matter what you cook, you know? If you cook expensive or not expensive, like my grandmother was very poor. She cooked in a little pressure cooker yeah. on top of the stove. Make the, she made rice flesh, enough for four or five people, and maybe it cost at five bucks. And, and speaking of which, yeah. we like to do what we call our big reveal. Okay, right. now let's, let me show you what oh, she made. Oh, there's that okay, rice here, flesh. Okay. Look so at this that. is a, this Steaming is a meal hot. that really yeah. costs pennies. It costs, you know, Exactly, nothing. we put a little rosemary mm. in here. Oh, okay, look at that. It smells so good. Mm. All the spices, mm. all the flavors you put in here stay right in here. Oh. And my then I'm going to show you how easy it is to make something. Okay, so mm. then we're going to unveil how you can do okay. this. Now look at that. Look how much food we made right in oh, here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> can you see that? Holy cow. Wow. I know, out of this little guy. Out of this little guy. I mean, this would be enough for six people, probably. I mean, at it least. really would. Hey, so not only is that goof proof, uh, yeah. the, the recipe is actually in Marion's uh, pressure cooker cookbook. And one thing that I'll point out about the cookbook that I love, they're actually conversions, if you know, depending on the size of pressure cooker you have. So you can actually uh, adjust the ingredient deck depending yeah. on how you know big the pressure cooker is that you're using. So, walking All right, so basically. now I'll show you how I do it. I yeah. have vegetables here, so we have to go fast because we don't have a lot of time. No, we don't. If you like it spicy, a little garlic, a little turmeric, paprika, you decide what you want, okay? Dynamite. Then, you add your rice. Okay. So you don't how have to How much is that, a rice. cup of rice? Huh? Okay. And it's oh. usually like a one-to-one -one ratio. Yeah, a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay. So now, if you want to, you can add Chicken stock a cup. Mm. All right. Salt and pepper, maybe a little herb like I had before. Okay. Okay, and salt and pepper, and that's it. And so that's now, it. mix it well. Oh, yes, fabulous, Wolfgang. Salt and pepper a little bit. And you know what's so cool? You're not babysitting a stove. Oh, here. No, that's okay. Oh, sorry. That's all right. You're not babysitting a stove. You top. don't have to do anything. Nope. So you see what I did so far? Salt, yes. pepper. You can, I had chili flakes already. Mm -hmm. Mix it together like that. And then, wait, we're gonna show it for the pasta. Okay. So this is a vegetarian right. dish. You know, a lot of you out there right. are vegetarian. Meatless so we Monday. close it. You see how easy it is here? Yeah. Open, close. You have the arrow here. They have to go together. Open, see? I have to say, I love your Close. pressure cooker. I do. Now, it's you so put dynamite. that here on seal because we're going to be cooking. Right. And now you put it on eight minutes. Okay. And it doesn't start counting down yeah. until it's up to pressure. Exactly. So this has its own brain. So now you can go to the hairdresser. You, you can. can do whatever you want. You can live your life. And you do, and it will cook it for you. It will get it ready. And then it will keep it warm. I, I mean, have, how I, much better can life be? I have to say, pressure cookers have changed my life. Yeah. And that is no joke. I mean, I know I'm eating better. I certainly know I'm cooking healthier. The great thing is, though, I don't have to babysit this. Yeah. I mean, you literally dump the ingredients in, you turn the little dial and then you take a shower. You get yeah. ready. Now you know, look for at work. it. Here we made some pasta with some sausage in here. Yum. A perfect Italian dish. But you know what? That started with dry pasta. Yeah, with dry pasta, and so, I'm going to show you how I do that. You know what's so crazy? In a lot of cases, it would take you longer to boil the water yeah. than it does to cook but the But what is so great with that, you don't have to worry about doing you anything. You, you know, don't. you just close it up, put it on yes. seal, that's it. So, so now here, I'm oh. going to make a little olive oil if we have it. Okay. Okay, here, a cup of pasta. And, uh, so dry pasta. Dry pasta. Yep. 
frozen hamburger meat. Okay, frozen meat. Okay. All right. A little onion. Okay. A little carrot. So you don't even like pre. A yolks. little parmesan. Okay. If you like to, you can add it at the end. Then yeah. a little olive oil. Okay. If you like Italian food, put a little rosemary Why and not? naturally a little garlic. Of course. Salt and pepper. But you know what's so smart is first of all the the time you want that a it saves liquid? you. Liquid. Oh. You okay. So now we're gonna add tomato sauce. Okay. With a little chicken stock mixed together. So half and half about. And now we just add that to it. Oh, fabulous. But you know what? Anybody can do this. I yeah. mean, you really now, can. How easy. All you have to remember, for each cup of pasta, each right. cup of rice, the same amount right. of liquid. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. One-to-one -one ratio. So here you can see it's still it's frozen. frozen. <laughs> So, you can actually see the frost on yeah, the meat when you I put know. it in there. I mean, you really could. That's no joke. But, you know, I have to say, for every busy mom, for every busy yeah. family, for every em empty nester, this is a godsend. Yeah. So you put it on seal here. You have this thing. And then we put it okay. again on eight minutes. And mm. that's it. Now you can let this guy cook for you. Mm. Let this guy do everything you need. So you don't have to worry about anything. Mm, that pasta is good. Yeah, so you mm. get all the flavors. What is so good with that? All the flavors stay in here. So the flavors don't go into your kitchen. The flavors don't gonna be in your bathroom or your they living don't. room. It stay in here. So it infuses the food with all the flavors. So if you braise some lamb, if you braise some beef, some patros in here, <coughs> and it infuses everything with the flavor and it keeps everything moist. It, it does. So we'll talk about the macaroni and cheese. And actually, Michael, yeah. I'll do the color selection live if I can since we've got them kind of spread out. So you can choose from your red, Looks cool, your maybe. orange, your nope. black, your Wolfgang Cuck blue, or your white. One thing I'm really gonna recommend though, I love, this will not open up by the way, if it's under pressure. You get that nonstick reservoir, but I would love for you to ask about the stainless steel insert. You saw Wolfgang actually using it moments ago. Oh, there are only 20 of them, so forget what? that. Uh, but that easy closed lid, I could even do this backwards because I have this one at home and I'm absolutely in love with it. But this is not only saving you time, yeah. the foods taste better, don't they Wolfgang? Exactly, because all the flavor stays in here. Here we have <laughs> some braised flank steak, uh, uh, the ropa, like they call it in Mexico. Right, and normally that can get pretty dry. I mean, a flank steak, if you're not cooking it properly. Exactly, generally it's dry, but here it gets infused with it does. all the and I have Moisture. to say, you'll, you'll never want to cook another way. Yeah. I mean, you really won't. Look at that. See oh, that? my, see what I mean? If, if you've tried to make flank steak at home and haven't done, yeah. done it in a pressure cooker, you're going, that has to be a prop steak. I know. Right? Because flank steak is normally kind of stringy. It yeah. gets very dry. It's very easy to yeah. overcook. Uh-huh. So but with this, all the moisture moist. stays in. So that's aye, really aye, amazing. Aye. And then oh, that looks beautiful. You can put in a little salsa on top. Holy A few Lord. jalapenos, maybe, or a few avocados. Why not? I mean, that's the really cool thing. Whether you're doing pot roast, whether you're doing jambalayas, whether you're doing paellas, yeah. whether you're doing desserts uh -huh. of this. You can do flans, you can do cheesecakes, you can I do know. cakes it in is, here. It is the most amazing kitchen tool you can ever buy. Why? Because it does so many things for you. And you can even get more ideas yes. than what I have here and Marianne has here because almost anything cooked, yes. slow cooked, fast cooked, you can do it right in here. In fact, I didn't have a chance to say, but the words were literally forming in my mouth. This price, they actually had to get it's like a special dispensation yeah. to do. It's the lowest price in history on any of Wolfgang Puck's pressure cookers. And he really is the king of pressure cookers here at HSN. He really put pressure cooking yeah. on the map. So it is a genius idea. It's a genius item. That flex pan, I'm so sorry, guys. I, the monitors are a little far away for me to see tonight. It's a uh, $14 and change to get this at home. If you have the HSN card, it's actually only $12 and change to get home. Yeah. And I have to say that extended holiday return policy, once you try this, you will never, ever, ever look back. I know you, many of you heard me tell, tell the story. I, I pressure cook probably three or four times a yeah, week. But you know what? It makes life so much it easier. Does. Soups, fall is coming. So yes. you have your pumpkin soup, your root vegetable soup, whatever you do, or broccoli soup, whatever. It's so easy. Look here, we have a butternut yeah. squash soup. Oh man! You know, and look
look at the color. Can you see the color stays exactly the way you want it? And all the nutrients, everything stays right in here. It does. So you can puree it chunky or you can make it really a nice puree, whatever you like. Definitely. By the way, that does happen to be Wolfgang Puck's immersion blender. Uh, lowest price in history, though. I have to say, it still it looks like a boo-boo to me. Yeah. This is still shocking. We have never seen a price on any pressure cooker, especially one of a Wolfgang Puck caliber of, of that's this price. Is my stain? Oh, by the, is it is it gone? Oh, you got my stainless steel insert. I'm so glad that you did. I love that thing. Yeah. Uh, no, it's oh, perfect. Now look, look at how pretty see, this look how beautiful is. Beautiful. The soup is so you can add spices, whatever you yeah. want. I shall add a little ginger and a little bit of honey or put a little nice. cream on top. But you know, that's the thing. If you'll notice, when you do carrots, they look like carrots. Yeah, exactly. You know, everything that's green looks really green. Everything that's orange looks really orange. Short of plucking something out of the earth, this is really yeah. the healthiest uh -huh. way to cook. Totally. And you know, you don't have to add oils or extra salt Nothing. or, you know, butter. Because all the flavors stay inside. If you they put do. garlic in it, whatever you put inside, yes. everything's gonna be infused with the flavor. That's True. what I like about the pressure cooker. The same thing with yes. our pressure oven. Me too. Why we don't like it so much? Because in, if it infuses the food with flavor yes. and it keeps the moisture in so you don't get all this dried food. Yeah, it's really true. And remember, it couldn't be any easier. And you know, first and foremost, this is not your grandma's pressure cooker anymore. It doesn't have that little wiggly jiggly, exactly. you know, top hat, right? The other thing and is- And look, it's boiling hot. It so is. you don't have to no. worry nothing. And I have to say, it's the cutest of Dickens. It's like the Goldilocks size. Yeah. It's just right. This is the one all right, let's that will be your here. go to. I have to go. Okay, what do you okay, have here? We have potatoes here. All right. Now, look in here. I can cook potatoes with one cup of water. See that in here? Yeah. Look at that. Okay. And they're oh. all cooked. See that? But you know, the really cool thing is, I know we're talking about how easy it is, but the time and energy saving, I'm not kidding. It, it, it takes you longer to boil the water for your mashed potatoes yeah. than it does to make them And here. what is so great, it has a timer. You know, yes. when you put it on your stove, you never know how long no. it's going to take. Well, you don't going to leave the kitchen. It's true. So, and you know what? To that end, though, Wolfgang, with the holidays approaching, yeah. the last thing you want is to hold somebody's burner hostage. This doesn't even need its own burner. Exactly. It's electric. You, or if you go somewhere for a potluck dinner, you can make your macaroni and cheese or your you rice flesh, whatever it is, right mm. there. Okay, I gotta try this soup. But look at that. Perfect mashed potatoes every time. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Wolf, that soup is great. Yeah, and oh, look wow, at the color. Yummy. I mean, it looks as nice as anything does. you could get but for Thanksgiving you want somewhere. perfect mashed potatoes, it, the thing is, I know we call this the Goldilocks size. It's yeah. almost a little deceiving. It, it, the capacity, it makes a lot more than you would think. I mean, it really does. You're, you're feeding an army with this thing. Yeah. My favorite part is you don't have to calculate everything, anything rather, because when you turn that dial, it doesn't start counting down until, until it's, under pressure. it's under pressure. Yeah, so that's the easy part. So it if is. it says in the book or if it says, right. or any other, you know, yeah. any other book you have, if it says, okay, yeah. it takes that long for uh, to cook, it, it means it's that long under pressure. Well, that's and why I, you don't have to adjust the time if you add frozen food. Yeah. Absolutely. The normal minute. And hey, although I do not use mine, my, my sticker at home, there is a sticker, <laughs> just because I pressure cook so yeah. often, but there is like a little cheat sheet here that if you, you know, want to put it on your pressure cooker, you're welcome to. I, like I said, I don't use mine just because I, I pressure cook all the time, but the, the time and energy savings is almost insurmountable. I mean, you can't even begin to appreciate what it's going to do when you get it at home. Oh, Wolfgang. That, now, what did you have? Like a little cream and butter? A little cream and a little butter. Okay. So you get perfect fluffy mashed potatoes and they are never watery tasting. Why? Look at that. Because I add only a little bit of water. One cup mm. for five pounds of potato is enough. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, the foods from a pressure cooker, you'll never, yeah. ever want to cook any other way. I mean, you really won't. And not only are they moister, they're more flavorful, they're healthier. Yeah. You use less fat, you use less oil because they're cooking in your own juices. Everything tastes better. You can also use cheaper cuts of meat exactly. and get a better result, You know, we, we always, we don't have the money always, so we don't want to eat yeah. just grilled food or whatever where you have to buy steak. Right. No. 
you will not be able to buy less expensive things. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, the mashed potatoes. And you know you can't open it up when it's right. in the fridge. Right, it will not yeah. let you open it. So you them. see here, you put it on right. in. And that's what's so nice is, like I said earlier, it's not your grandma's pressure cooker anymore yeah. where you don't have to worry about little mishaps or spaghetti on the ceiling. Exactly. And it is so easy to now, clean. Now, even to make a dessert like a flan, who does not like creme caramel or a flan? Everybody does. It's so simple. One of the first desserts I learned to make mm. in France. So you put caramel on the bottom of the pan, mm. and normally you have to put it in the water bath in yeah, the right. oven. And if it starts boiling, Boiling, you won't get oh, a wow. result like that. You better get a result where it looks like but cheese. Look at how moist that is. Yeah. I mean, you can actually see the moisture. And you look, can actually like see silk. the flavor. And I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I know. Look at if, that. See that? If you have not tried pressure cooking, you have no idea what you're missing. And that is no joke because you will find yourself, first of all, I'm, I'm saving money because I'm cooking at home more often. Yeah. But number two, you can get, you know, cheaper cuts you can get oxtail you can get flank steak you exactly can get you can get short rib. ribs short you can ribs. get shoulder meat you can get you can. pork butt whatever you think you can get it is so simple right but it tastes better i mean that's yeah. the thing that's so amazing and remember it will not let you open up the lid yeah. you can see now it's, it's almost over yep. still a little pressure just a little, still, bit, still pressure. A little so, bit left so and you will see when that goes down yep. And that's what's so cool. So I do have okay. to stress, so lowest price in history. This still kind of freaks me out because they, they really did, they had to get kind of special dis yeah. dispensation to do this. That. Oh, Wolfgang. Oh, so, man. If that would be lamb chops, how much they would cost? Yeah. In comparison to that, how much is that, the pound? These I'm, were on sale at the yeah. big box store. Yeah. yeah. I no, mean, look see, at that. that's just it. You can get whatever cut of see meat that? is out. Oh, look, look at that. Okay. Look at, God, I don't even need a fork. You don't need a fork. Look at that. It comes right out. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that. Yeah. And then oh, if you want to put man. a little gremolata or something over mm -hmm. it, then you mm -hmm. don't have to mm -hmm. go to Italy anymore. Okay, but you can do this. And yeah. uh, I know I was talking about Marion's pressure cooking, cooking cookbook. It's such a, a great, you know, font of information. But one other thing, and I said this earlier, but there are conversion times depending on the size pressure cooker that you're using. This is everybody's favorite size from Wolfgang. It's the lowest price on any pressure cooker he's ever done. This, you have no idea they moved heaven and earth to make this happen. So if there was ever a day, get the book, get the pressure cooker, you will never, ever, ever look back. You just wait. You're going to be cooking yeah. in a way that you never thought possible. Look at Even a if, chicken. And chicken. Chicken, chicken, paprika, here with onions, paprika, and a little sour cream. Oh, yum. And you know what? Chicken legs are so inexpensive, but when they're cooked properly, they are much better than chicken breast because they are moist and delicious. Well, and I think what's interesting, you know, when we think about fall flavors, yeah. this to me just screams fall. I mean, this just, it, it, when I think fall, I think pressure cooking. I, I really well, pressure you cook. you make your soups, but you know what? You yeah. shouldn't wait for the fall because even when it's hot outside, like here in Florida, you know, sometimes in September it's 90 degrees. Why is pressure cooking so good? Because you don't heat up your kitchen. It's true. You keep the kitchen cold. You don't have to worry about anything. So that's really a great thing. You save energy because you don't have to turn on the air condition, True. you save energy because that cooks so fast, so mm. everything possible you could think of, this has the benefits. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what it does if the food wouldn't taste good. I so what Ooh. I like about it, that the food is amazing. It is, so well, it this tastes, is so moist, it's actually falling yeah. off the fork. I mean, I can't, I'm actually having trouble Look getting at that. Yeah. fork. I know St. Patrick's is uh, way away, mm. but you know what? We cook uh, uh, corned beef very seldom. Why? Because it takes too long. Now, corned beef cooking at home on top of your stove, you cannot leave no, because it will burn. It will. You know, it takes forever. Now, look at that here. Okay. Because normally corned beef, that's a whole day affair. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's six days. Even hours. in our restaurant for St. Patrick's Day, yeah. we started at six in the morning oh, right. to be ready at 12. Right, exactly. Now, look at that. Oh, bravo. <gasps> See that? Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that. You can cut oh, it. I, I, could, I could eat it without the knife. 
I mean, look at that. I, wow. Look at how that? flaky that is. Flaky and juicy. Why is oh, it so juicy? Man, because oh, man, all man, the man, moisture man. stays right in. Oh, look how I get a bite of that. Oh, you can take it home a little bit. I, I think will. Victor will love that. Mm. He's not got me. I've got my name on it. Oh, okay. Oh, you mm. share it with him. Come mm. on in. Mm. No sharing? Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Oh, not a corned beef. Oh, okay, good. All mm. right, let me taste a little bit too. Mm. Mm. One minute left on it. Okay. Oh, where did the time go? Mm. Do we have time for one uh -huh. more reveal, Steve? Mm. Lasagna. Lasagna. Well. Lasagna. Marianne, what did you make? Okay. Six minute lasagna. Okay. So lasagna, those recipes are in uh, the cookbook as well. Yeah. So try it. Get your hands on this. I know you're going to fall in love with it. You're actually back at 10 a.m. Uh-huh. Okay, 10 a.m. You'll actually see uh, a reprise of All of Us Together via tape a little bit later this morning. Uh -huh. But Wolfgang and his uh, team will be back at 10 o'clock in the morning. I will see you tomorrow night, too. So okay, I'm, all right. I'm going to get right. on the treadmill. If, if, okay. <laughs> and be yeah. ready for you. All right, thanks again for all the calls and for shopping, everyone. I know. Thank you for calling, mm. and I see you at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, everyone. Keep calling on that today's Bye. special.